Hey guys, Kevin from Subi Speed. Today we're going to be taking a look at and doing a comparison of three very similar items, two of which are brand new and one that has been out for quite some time now. Many of you know about the JDM S4 fog light bezels, but there aren't that many alternatives out there. So we decided to bring some more options in for you guys that are a bit more affordable, yet still function and look great. So we're going to start off by taking a closer look at the original JDM S4 fog light bezels to see what they're all about. If we take a look at the finish of the JDM S4 fog light bezels, they have a gloss black metallic flake paint that matches the grills on your cars, which is part of the reason why these are so expensive along with the regulations and specs that they have to meet. The fog light bezel overall is very similar to the stock fog light bezels besides the bottom portion which is designed a little bit differently to cover up the LED assembly. Now, the LED bar is where some people have a gripe with. It uses diffusion from a few LEDs behind the bar to light the whole bar up, which leaves a little bit of a hot spot. But overall, this bezel looks great, and it's an OEM piece, so fitment is absolutely perfect. Now, if we take a look at the OLM Silverline fog light bezels, you can see that they have a matte black finish and both these and the Subi Speed fog light bezels are based off of the stock fog light bezel design, so there's not a difference there. But if we take a look at the LED strip, you can see on these they are rounded off, and actually these LED strips have LEDs going all the way across so you don't have to worry about hot spots. Installing this on the car and lighting it up, this is gonna have a little bit more of a bluish hue to it compared to the JDM S4 fog light bezels and the Subi Speed bezels. Those have a more pure white light coming out of them, but these would match up great with the Morimoto C lights, which turn out to be a little bit more on the blue side. Moving on to the Subi Speed fog light bezels, these have a nice gloss black finish. Like I said earlier, these have the same design as the stock bezels. The LED strip is a little bit different than the OLM design. These go all the way across and the ends have a little bit sharper of an edge. And these also have LEDs going all the way across to light up the whole strip and it does not leave any hot spots. Also, like I said before, these have a little bit more of a pure white light output. So these would match up great with your LED headlights or any 5000K headlights. Now that we've gone through the comparison, we're gonna take a look at the installation process. Now, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, I'm just gonna go through the wiring with you guys because that's gonna be where most of you guys have the questions. We're already getting in emails. So, this is the Subi Speed DRL fog light bezel harness. You'll see here that there is the DRL module and then this wire with the Adafuse and ground and this white wire. So on the end of this harness with the Adafuse, this will connect to the DRL module, which has two connectors on it. And these will lead to the fog light bezels themselves. The longer bezel obviously goes to the passenger side. So that's the easy part. Now, depending on whether you have our DRL harness or not, will determine if you use this Adafuse or not. If you do not have our DRL harness, you're gonna plug this out of fuse into your high beam location in your fuse box, and then the black wire is gonna to go to the ground, the negative on your battery terminal, and then this white wire is optional to use to, if you want your DRL fog light bezels to turn off with any particular lights. For example, if you want them to turn off when your high beams come on, you can wire this up to your high beams so that when this gets a signal, it'll turn the DRL fog light bezels off. So that's the Subi Speed harness. Now, if we take a look at the OLM Silverline harness, again, there's a DRL module and then the two connectors for the fog light bezels themselves. The longer one goes to the passenger side. Now, these two wires, the black wire is gonna go to the negative battery terminal or you can, if you do have the DRL harness, you can tap this into the black wire of that, and then you can tap the white wire into the red wire, which is your positive. 
If not, you'll need to get our quick connect harness, snip off this wire here, uh, crimp on the harness, and then there's two added fuses on there, and you'll want to place those into the high and low beam fuse positions in your fuse box. All right, well, there we go, guys. Those are the three DRL fog light bezel options we have available on our website. Hopefully this video helped you realize which one is best for you or which one you like best. Let us know in the comment section down below. If you guys wanted to pick up a set for yourself, go and click on the top right hand corner of the video. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to email us sales at subispeed.com or give us a ring 888-885-2002. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on your WRX, SCI, BRZ, or Forester. Remember to hit that subscribe button for more 2015 WRX and SCI videos if you haven't already. Let us know in the comment section down below what other videos you'd like to see. Click that Subi Speed logo down there to visit our website and connect with us through Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We love seeing your guys' installs and projects that you're working on, so feel free to share those. Also, add us on Snapchat by scanning that ghost over there to see what kind of shenanigans we're up to in the shop or when we're out on a trip. And if you haven't already done so, check out our latest videos. Till next time, guys.